party people. It is a fun day. We're gonna go shopping for Halloween stuff. I know, I know. If you're still holding on to summer, please know, so am I. But the stores are putting out Halloween stuff, so I figured we would stop inside Home Goods. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, we'll do the trifecta. I hear whisperings that Target is putting out stuff in their dollar spot already, so I'm gonna hop in there and see if that's true. That may need to wait another week or two. But for now, we're here. I threw on a semi-turtleneck. It's like a Florida turtleneck with short sleeves and like it's not really tight. I'm feeling a little cozy. Hoping for pumpkin spice everything, even though I don't really like pumpkin spice everything. Let me know if you like pumpkin spice. Let's hop inside and see everything that they have to offer. I didn't grab a cart and already I'm regretting it. Oh my gosh, love. Look at this guy. What a sweetheart, what is he drinking? Oh my gosh, can I have a sip? Uh, there's way more over here as well. Oh my gosh, check the vibes on this, this little shelf here. Bunch of pink and I'm in love. Oh my gosh, look at this little baby candy corn. I don't even like candy corn. I know there's two people, two kinds of people in the world. Those who like candy corn and those who do not. Let me know if you're one of those people. Oh, but I do like this. Oh, and then the little bat. Okay, I don't even wanna do a deep dive yet. Hold on. I just wanted to do a little overview of what I see so far. Oh my gosh, the gnomes are out in full force. Look at this bat gnome. And ooh, look at this rattan chair. Ooh, this is a whole vibe right here. Someone's putting those on hold. Okay, well, I guess if I don't do a deep dive now, I don't know if I'll be able to come back once I head out to the rest of the store. Bunch of wooden signs here. There lives a witch and her handsome devil. Oh, oh, why not stay for a brew? I drive a stick. These are so fun. I am partial to all of the like witchy signs. Oh my gosh, the broomstick, the witch legs. Bunch of candles too. This is pretty nice. Oh, and then they have a whole wall of pumpkins behind me. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but there definitely is not a low supply on the pumpkins. Look at these pineapple pumpkins. That is something I haven't seen before. Those are super cute. Bunch of lights, string lights. Those are all the rage these days. Ooh, and look back here. The Nightmare Before Christmas. These are mugs. You get a two set of mugs in there. And you know what? Is that a Halloween movie? or is that a Christmas movie? Uh, I think it's Halloween, but I know people are divided on that. Ooh, some pillows back here. These are really sweet. I actually saw one of my favorite pillows uh, the other day when I came about a week ago when they were just putting stuff out and it was skeletons in like tutus. It was so adorable. These are pretty thick wooden signs. They've got the trees back there. Oh, this is a cute one and it hangs too. Okay, get a separate, ooh, six bucks. Okay, not so bad. Okay, I just peeked on these. Look, the dish towels, they have a ton. Dish towels, they have a bunch of fall ones back here. Ooh, look at that cute little scarecrow. It reminds me of the scarecrow from um, the movie Return to Oz. That is a classic. If you haven't seen that one, I mean, you totally have to. And then they have a ton of different Halloween dish towels. Ooh, Nightmare, Monster. That one's pretty sweet. Oh, I love the bats. It's like an embroidered fabric. Ooh, the cats. That's fun too. You know what I don't like about most of the dish towels? They're so white and I know people just put them out for decor, but I actually use them and then they get filthy and I don't know. Ooh, 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 I have this guy. Isn't she so cute? She's ready to pick her apples for fall time. She's got her boots on, leather. Oh my gosh, she's so trendy, I love her. Okay, we'll get a peek on her and her friends in a minute. This says witch, witches, yes, the plural. I love that. I have no idea, guys, I don't wanna buy any Halloween stuff, but like I wanna buy all of it. Do you know what I mean? This little baby pumpkin too, he's cute, $6. Okay, which way to the booze? Well, not my house, I'll tell you that. Look at this, gnome says boo. I'm the good witch until I run out of wine. Oh, why is everything so wine related, okay? People love wine, do you love your wine? I really like that Ouija board bat. That's pretty fun. 
Oh, and then blessed in autumn and hey, they're pumpkin and stuff. Okay, boring. Okay, some more signs up here. Boo, little monsters live here. Ooh, this is cool. This is $6. This is different, right? It's like purple and Salem and witches. I'm really into that. Ooh, the spider web cat, that's cute. Oh, the saw cat is cute too down here. And then, yes, I can drive a stick and little monsters live here. Okay. I actually really like this whole scene over here, the pumpkin with the white cast. Ooh, and then look at this. Harvest time is here, and this pumpkin is so cute. Okay, do you... Wait a minute, sweater weather? It is sweater weather. Pumpkin season room spray? I'd love to sniff this. Hold on. I just did my best to sniff that, and you know what? It smells pretty good. $15 for all of that. Okay, anyway, are you one of those people who decorates for fall and then Halloween, or do you just jump straight to Halloween? Um, I've tried my best in the past. I'm not very good. I still have Easter decor hanging up, so I'm like not the best person to talk to about it. Oh, so everything is $6. Come on, down to home goods. Everything is $6. Oh my gosh, look at this Frankenstein. Oh my, what does he hold? Anything you want, I guess, right? Will he hold my water bottle? For $4? I bet he's supposed to be for a candle. He is darling. Okay, I'm gonna sniff on these too, BRB. Magic potion? Oh! From what I can sniff, the magic potion is a little too sweet for me. The boo smells good, but it smells similar to, um, I don't know, what did I just sniff? The cozy, the sweater weather stuff? It all smells pretty good, but I wish I could get a better sniff on it. I think, is, is he drinking a hot cocoa? What is that up top, moss? Okay, anyway, more pumpkins. And more pumpkins down here. Let's head on down here. Oh, oh more pump, oh my gosh, more pumpkins. Can you guys even believe it? Oh, okay, some cute stuff. This ghost with the boo sign, a witch and one handsome devil. You know what I like? This guy back here, this guy is adorable. I love how he's dressed up like the devil, like the devil he is inside. Oh, I like that candle back there. You know, this is a very high traffic area and people are just staring at me like I've lost my mind, which you know what? I pretty much have at this point. I like the spiders on here. Oh, look, that pumpkin has a nice little cutie patootie face. Oh, they're all hanging out down here. Okay, they're all just friends. Oh, there's a better look. Friends, some more. Oh, some more friends, and then boo. Oh, okay. Toil and trouble, a set of three ghosts uh, holding the boo sign. Should I do the whole video in that voice? <laughs> I wonder if you guys would stick around. Oh, okay, Nightmare Before Christmas, some more mugs, misfit love, and all that good stuff. All right, let's check out the other side. Oh my gosh, hold on. Hold on on that. Hold that thought. Look at this gnome -y. I want a gnome holding a cauldron. Is that a thing? I don't know, but I would buy it in a heartbeat. Oh, and then we have this guy. Look, they're sweeping up. They're sweeping and sh they've got a spider. Okay, that's a pretty cool spider. I don't know what this thing is. Little cat toy. Okay, we have a lot of autumn and fall pillows and decor over here. You can get a nice, ooh, fall is in the air. Is it though? It's like 95 degrees in Florida. <laughs> okay, some stuff on this side. I think we've seen it all before. Okay, some more stuff at the checkout. I am loving those wooden owls right here. I feel like I'm doing this backwards. Like, why am I at the checkout right now? I don't, I, guys, it's just whatever. You know, I go wherever my heart tells me to go. Did you see all that? Okay, cool. Farm fresh autumn harvest. Let's move on. Oh my gosh, are these salt and pepper shakers? That's cute. Okay, well, hold on. Out of the corner of my stinking little eye, I see a nice little lantern full of pumpkins and acorns and lights. Okay, these are really cute. More uh, dish towels, or really it's just part of your decor. Witching in the kitchen, and that was my knee cracking. You're gonna hear that for the next hour. Witches be crazy, that's the truth. We are crazy. Home sweet haunted home. We have too much candy. Oh, said no one? No, I say that all the time, <laughs> all the time. Where did this candy come from? My kids are always finding candy. Oh, you're beautiful. These are cute. Why, like why? So many different kitchen towels. Is that necessary to have such an option? Okay, some more fall stuff over here. Oh, ooh, even um, hand soap. If the broom fits, you ride it. Okay, we ride at dawn. I really like this guy. I think he lights up or something like that. Yep, that was my knee again. Hey, look at that, he does light up. Oh, oh his eyeballs, his eyeballs light up. He's very cool. You wanna guess that price. He's $17. The gnome pillow, I like this little acorn. And um, 
I should not get a cart, okay? Okay, I see pumpkins, fall. This is back to school, but I do see stuff back here. Where should we start? I guess the first row would make the most sense. Am I right? Oh, wait, a hydro flask. Oh my God, Eleanor wants a yellow one. Oh, but it's not tall. She wants a skinny. Okay, moving on. <gasps> Home is where you park your broom. Do you see that? That's a cute little sign. Oh my gosh, there's gnomes. Look how cute these gnomes are in the back. Why are they hiding? $20, that was a little steep. This um, pumpkin pillow, whatever this thing is, it has a wooden stem, so that's pretty cool. Oh, I really like this sign too. It's $15. It's pretty large. It says, Happy Halloween. Oh, and then this is so cute. The pink, the pink is a new vibe. <gasps> oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop, these are so stinking cute. They're witches, they're gnome wit. I need a cart. Like, how can I leave these here for someone else to have and enjoy? I can't, I just, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. All right, I'm sorry if I disappointed you. What is this guy? Well, he does not look, happy haunting? He doesn't look very scary at all. What is he holding? What is this, a makeup poof? What are you gonna do with that? Okay, anyway, this bowl back here, that's really cool. And then this one with the skeleton hand, I always think those are great. What is that left over from Valentine's Day? Get out of here. Oh, I love the skeletons doing yoga back there. A namaste, thank you very much. Oh my gosh, look at this Nomi. He's the devil and he knows it. All right, let's see, guess that price. He's only $10 with his little devil horns. He's cute. Here's some more skeleton hands. Oh my gosh, look, it's the queen. Oh, and then back here behind this Nomi, there's a stack of ghosts. That is fun. Some more pumpkins. Oh look, another one up there. What is he gonna do? Okay, and then there's some more gnomes up here too. Oh, and then this pillow. I completely press over this pillow. Look how cute she is with her little broomstick and her big old nose. I really like the pillow with the legs. This is really fun. I know their pillows are usually expensive. So guess that price. We got $25 for a pillow, okay? But it is really cute if pillows are your thing. They're just not mine because my kids dump them on the floor and I just have to pick them up 700 times a day. Okay, you get it. If you're into pumpkins, you saw all of that. Let's move on. Okay, well, hold on. If you are into pumpkins, this is pretty much the coolest one I've ever seen. It's totally my vibe. It's like grandma pumpkin. Uh, give thanks, see that give thanks sign. A topiary is probably in the wrong spot. Leftover from springtime. Ooh, even more pillows back here. Oh my gosh, I love that woodland pillow. That is darling. If I was a pillow gal, I'd buy that. Look at these, these gnomes are absolutely huge. Oh my gosh, the witch gnome. Oh, that's not a witch gnome, but he's pretty cool nonetheless. That's definitely an autumn gnome. Oh, it says something on his belly. Happy, oh my gosh, happy turkey day. Yeah, yeah. Turkey day's already representing. Represent the turkey. My kids went to, what's that place called? Medieval times where they give you a turkey leg to eat on. They kept calling it a dragon, a baby dragon leg. That trick-or-treat pillow is really cute. Yes, I'm drawn to it. Oh, they're, oh my gosh, even more pillows. Oh, okay, these are more autumn style. Look at this, the sunflower on that gnome gnome. I love it so much, it's just the cutest thing you did. Okay, I'll stop. Pumpkins up here. I like that um, stacked wooden pumpkin decor piece. Lots of other pumpkin pieces, if you're into that. Peter Piper picked a pack of, not pumpkins, but we'll move on. Okay, I found another end cap up here. This pumpkin feature, the triple pumpkin. Uh, there's batteries included. Well, that is something special. Okay, there's more pumpkins down here, the galvanized guy. But look at this guy in the back. Just came in from a surfing trip. Kind of looks like uh, Tom Brady after he won the Super Bowl. <laughs> kind of, okay. Uh, and then down here, these are pretty cool. I've never seen these guys before, but I'm here for it. They're, you know, looks like a carnival or something. And then this is really cool too. I've never seen anything like that here. You wanna guess that price? I should get a, um, oh, this is not what I thought it was at all. This is like wooden and it lights up, it's $20. I should definitely get a cart for these. Oh my gosh, hold on. Do you know what this is? I think I know what it is. Door and window draft. You put this in front of your dang door or your windows and it keeps the draft out. But I live in Florida, so I'm all about keeping that draft in. Oh, they even have it in the sunflower print. Spiders down there. I just think it's unnecessary to sell these in Florida. Like, 
I mean, unless you don't have a very well insulated house or something. It's just not cold enough. Oh my heavens. Here I was thinking I wasn't gonna spend much time in here. Look at this Ouija board pillow. Uh, growing up, my dad did not want a Ouija board in the house. Somehow we managed to get one in the house and I loved it, but also scared the poo poo out of me. Witches brew potions and spooky spells. That's really cute. I love this sign that says Halloween. I think I need a new one because mine broke like the day that I put it up. This guy's really huge. Um, oh, some more of that garland back there. There's Tom Brady again, hanging out. Okay, last time I came into Home Goods, oh my gosh, this cat is really fun. They had a humongous witch. I shared it on Instagram. It was huge. It was only like $70, but for the size it was, it should have been, I don't know, 150, 130. So I'm kind of regretting not buying that, but also ugh, I don't need it. I don't need this either. Guys, talk me out of it, will you? But like, I do kind of need it, you know what I mean? Oh, look at, okay, so you saw all the signs as I was breezing through. Every year I always fall for crisp breezes and on and on. Look at this over here. Candy Corn Lane has some cute little garland out for you to decorate your home with. Uh, and then springtime stuff just shoved right in there. And then, ooh, I really, I actually really like this garland. This is really pretty. I love the colors on that. And then they have a few fall autumn wreaths. Oh my gosh, a whole aisle. You guys, I think I, <gasps> is this the monster baby? We've seen the monster mama and the monster papa, but I feel like this is the baby. Oh, I should have bought them all as I've seen them. Now I'm kind of kicking myself. Look at that, those acorns, those are fun. Um, some galvanized pieces up there. Oh my gosh, those ghosts look so sad. Whenever I see ghosts like that, I think of, oh, what's that one movie with Christina Ricci and that ghost? Oh, Casper, that's his name, Casper. I think that was like everyone's first crush, right? Casper, that Casper guy. The witch is in, some wine glasses. Oh my gosh, look, it's the villains. Look at that, what does it say, stand with us. Well, I don't know, they're kind of mean, right? By far, I think this is the MVP of this shelf over here. We have some gnomes, and I think we've seen most of that stuff. Oh, and they have a ton of costumes. I don't think I've ever seen this selection before here at Home Goods but I think it's really cute. Like, what is this? A llama or something? Oh my gosh, it is a llama. No problem, llama. So that's really fun. If you're looking for a costume, come on down to home goods. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so they have a bunch of random costumes and then this digger, that's pretty fun too. This side is boring. Oh, look, an empty cart. Cool, <laughs> here we go. Was that a sign? Okay, they have, oh, look at these espresso cups and then large mugs. They've got skeletons on them. Those are really sweet. And then they have just a little end cap over here full of autumn decor. That's like harvest. Ooh, $20 for a tablecloth. I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not at that level of decor yet. So maybe $20 is a good price. Yep, those are my knees again. Look at that plate back here. This is really pretty. I like this print and it's like etched in there. It's really nice. The bowls are $4 a piece. Uh, oh my gosh, hold on. Is this a spider? Oh, no, it's just a design. I thought it was like spiders or something. Let's get smashed. Oh, okay, it's pretty funny. So here's the Ray Dunn collection. And I feel like typically this store specifically usually has way more out than this. Oh, gather here. I also saw something. Someone must have just picked it up as I walked by. It said here for the booze. You know, that whole thing, it's on everything nowadays. Uh, but yeah, that's the only like fall-ish thing that I see. Here's some mugs. You know what else I was uh, reading, like memes? Is done, done? <laughs> like, do people still collect Ray Dunn? I know that was a huge trend for quite some time. Okay, so they have even more tablecloths and stuff over here. Ooh, hold on, this looks spooky booky. That haunted house, these are placemats. Oh, and they even have this Halloween tablecloth down there. Oh, and then the ghosts. This is like pretty and spooky, you know? Oh, skeletons. Okay, let me give you a good view of these. I really like the pumpkin ones too, that's cute. And then behind me, they have a few. So these are four placemats for $13. I really like that. I bet you there's a matching table runner too. These say trick or treat. Oh, and then a couple placemats over here. We do placemats, so that's something that we do do, but 
only to like preserve our table, you know what I mean? Not to be fancy or anything. Although I am not at the level of, you know, having seasonal placemats. Oh look, I love the sprinkles that they have, the seasonal sprinkles. These are so fun. Oop. So cute. And how much are they? Like three bucks each, which is actually a pretty decent price. Target sells this for like, I don't know, $700. Oh my gosh, it's only $3 here. Yeah, that's a great price. I mean, it's sprinkles, so it should be $3. Oh look, they have a bunch of different ones here. Do you guys do like fun baking activities with your kiddos? Oh look, hey there, pumpkin. Pumpkin cookies, baking mix. Hold on, candy is dandy, but wine is divine. <laughs> Here's another tablecloth. It is spider web. I feel like my kids have leggings that look like that. All right, sweater weather. So they have some pumpkin pancakes. They have a bunch of like baking kits and stuff and a ton of sprinkles. Ooh, spiced cider drink mix. Hold on, what the heck is this? Oh, I thought it was a witch's cauldron. This is a soap, hand soap, and that's pretty fun. Ooh, Halloween cookie stamp. These are so sweet, very fancy, $13 and then some more sprinkles. Uh-oh, treat yourself, okay? So they have some autumn table runners. Ooh, this is actually pretty fun too, but I found some Halloween ones I thought you guys might be interested in. Uh, this one, I'll just show you the top. It looks like that, it's pretty cool. And then more pumpkins. And, oh, you can hang. Oh, look at that one. That one's pretty fun. That's $17 though. Is it $17 fun? I don't know. That one's really cute. Uh, and then just some black ones. So that could be really cute too. I actually really like the black ones. It's like a black lacy. They actually have a ton of table runners. I didn't know there was a whole market for uh, people who love table runners. <laughs> I guess it's just another way to decorate, right? Uh, okay, I saw this one. I'm the good witch until I, oh, well, we already saw that saying on something else. Ooh, hold on. A Bloody Mary. That, I mean, I don't drink, but that looks pretty fun. What's back here? Citrus blue. Okay. All right, I'm pretty sure, yes, I'm pretty sure I have this apron. I love that they have it out. Hocus Pocus, Wicked Witches. Enchanted Brooms, I just love that. So, oh no, wait, I have this one. This is the one I have. I can't remember, but the, um, the aprons are pretty reasonably priced. $10 for like, you know, a fun apron. Oh, what else do they have? They have this one and that, that might be it. But even like this one, that's really nice to wear, you know, all day, every day. If you're an apron kind of gal. All right, what's down here? I don't see anything fall-esque. Hold on a stinking burner. I might buy this. I just bought this off of Amazon for at least $20, maybe 25. And it's here at the stinking home of goods for $17. Should I get another one? I definitely have enough water bottles to fill it up. Also quick shout out. I've been seeing these $5, these pineapple slicers all over home goods, TJ Maxx and stuff. They're more expensive on Amazon. And I love mine. I use it all the time. Oh my gosh, look, pumpkin spice and sweat a weather. I have seen one, it's a Ray Dunn cup that says Hocus Pocus and it's purple. So I've been ha keeping my eye out for that. Not that I'm like into Ray Dunn cause I'm not, but I do love Hocus Pocus. Okay, I do see some fall dish towels over here. I thought I'd just give you a little peek. I wanted to point out that they have some books here too. They always have seasonal books out at a pretty reasonable price, uh, but I love getting books here because they are decent prices. Ooh, Lego Halloween, $10. Creek and Squeak Halloween. And this book is, oh my gosh, absolutely darling, but also $9. I found another end cap of Halloween stuff. Oh, what is this? A set of two candles. Look at them. Oh, they're so scared. Please don't burn me. Oh. Okay, they also have this skull with the roses. That's really cute too. They actually have a lot of candle skulls up there. And then that light up pumpkin that says boo that candle i sniffed it it smells wonderful those are napkins with the gnome and the pumpkin on them so that's pretty fun oh this is pretty cool that candle but let me smell this this doesn't have like a spiced pumpkin scent so if you're not into that you might like that it's vanilla and fig and i can't believe it has taken me this long to mention the new hocus pocus movie that they're supposedly making uh because you know that's been a rumor for years I don't really see that much fall. 
or that many fall scents. I see white, Ooh, okay, white pumpkin and spice pumpkin. This is my jam. And then some orchards, but um, I feel like in general, TJ Maxx does candles better than home goods. These are absolutely enormous and they're only 15 bucks. That one smells like popcorn. Ooh, falling leaves. I wanna go to Bed Bath & Beyond and um, I know their leaves candle is always really popular. So I just wanna smell it and see what the hype is about, you know? Some more decor up here, the lanterns and this is like screaming autumn and fall. Ooh, pumpkin season. I'm gonna have to smell those. Apple harvest. Yes, please. Fraser fir. Yes, uh, yeah, this is what I'm into. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, Christmas. All right, Christmas, Christmas time is here. You guys know the drill. Uh, okay, some pumpkin decor pieces. And then there's a bunch of blankets and stuff down there. Mustard hues and such, some pillows. Uh, some more pillows. Hold on, let's get to the good stuff, shall we? Okay, first of all, there's so much to look at. That pillow over there, Screaming Fall, it's so cute. This is not Screaming Fall, but it's really pretty. But I almost bought this in my head. I almost bought it, and then I was like, that's ah, too mid-century modern. And you know me, I'm more like grandma antique. And look at this light. Oh my gosh, is this the coolest thing you've ever seen? $200 for this light. Okay, so we've made it back to some Halloween harvest stuff over here, some blankets and pillows. So I'll give you um, a slower overview. Look at this little baby gnome pillow. It's only $10 with a little feet on it. Oh my gosh, a Ouija board blanket. Oh man, that's pretty cool. And then obviously some orange blankets and some white blankets with dogs dressed up. Who doesn't love that? Oh, turkey day, a turkey blanket. Oh, I love that. I actually really like this one too, that's beaded. It's a lot of nice detail. Some more pillows up here. These are uh, really catching my eye. They're sequined, they're sparkly, they're cute. I really like this one with the hanging legs. And then of course, pumpkin spice and everything nice with the little gnomes. You wanna guess that price just to get an idea? 10 bucks for that little pillow. Uh, okay, and you guys know how it is. Everyone's checking out at the same time. So I'm gonna wait in line and then we'll head to Home Goods. Peace out, Home Goods. I got a lot of stuff. Oh, the cart is loud. Can you hear me? Okay, I was saying, I got a lot of stuff. Oh, <laughs> but I only got that one Halloween thing. I'm actually trying to like organize my life and get my life together, so there's that. Uh, okay, but now we're headed to the Max. So I'm a Maxinista, and we're gonna see what kind of Halloween stuff they have out. Let's go. I made it. Let's go inside. Okay, I hopped inside. Oh my gosh, is this epic or what? It's pretty heavy. Let's peek on the price. Okay, it's $50. Oh, this is $50 too. That's pretty cool. Okay, what's this? Pumpkin mug and globe. There's a globe. I mean, you know we have to see what it looks like. How fun is that? Not sure that I would ever use that or buy that, but that sure is fun. Some stuff. You say witch like it's a bad thing. Okay, now that's what I'm talking about. Ooh, okay, last year they had a ton of these, Marshalls in particular, and I regretted not buying one right away. Well, I saw like witches huddled around a cauldron, which is the one that I want. Uh, if you can see, it's like bubbling up inside. It makes some noises, $20 for that one. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for the witches cauldron. Um, that was really fun, but oh, they have some of these huge cauldrons that say trick or treat. The little guy, well, this one doesn't have a price. The medium one is 15, so we can assume this one is 25. Oh, it's just 20. I just peeked on the price, so 20, 20 for the large. And then they have the pumpkin down there as well. And then these little white pumpkins that a lot of people seem to decorate with. This kit is $8 for 4812 pumpkins. And normally they have something similar. Those are pretty heavy, but they have something similar at the Target dollar spot as well whenever they start stocking stuff. Well, we've made it to the Mecca, this pretty large aisle. Uh, th what is that? Oh my gosh, I thought it said thumbnail. It says thankful, thankful, yes. Ooh, a six foot garland. They have several of these, ghosts and pumpkins back there. Oh, some candy corn in this one. And then some of them have balls. This one is full of ghosts. Okay, can you see it? Okay, ghosts and balls. Boats and hoes. <laughs> okay, some more gnomes over here. 
I'm like gnome overload right now. Oh, some more witches with the broom. Spooky, thankful pillows. Oh, I really like that fox pumpkin in the back there. This Frankenstein bin. Like, what would we use him for? He's a darling. $20. He's absolutely massive. And I love how he has the screws on the side of him. Okay, some sunflower table mats, pumpkins, acorns, boo signs, way more pumpkins. Oh, I like that teal pumpkin. That's nice. Okay, and then they have this skull pillow. Look how stinking cute. And then, of course, the, oh, I really like the hue of that, that blue jewel tone. Um, some more placemats down here. These are pretty funky. These um, ja jack-o-lanterns placemats. They're easy care. These are like the rubber ones that you can just wipe off. Uh, but these, I, I should look into getting those because we have to wash our, oh, the fitting room? Is the fitting room open? I had no idea if it is open. It just opened. Ooh, mixing bowls. That's something I haven't seen yet. Um, this is $5 for the medium size one. Normally they have, you know, the whole set, like the huge mixing bowl with the, what is this? This is really pretty. What would you put in there? Oh, utensils maybe? Oh, that's exactly it. $8 for that. That's really cute. Put that up in your house. Oh, look at him. I like his hot chocolate cup better. You can kind of tell that it's hot chocolate, not like grassy moss on the inside. Hold on, we have a friend back there. What's he holding? A little sunflower. Look how cute he is. Really like these guys too. These guys remind me of like beatnecks. What are they holding? Oh, that's a pumpkin. Okay, they just came back from the pumpkin patch. It's no big deal. Oh my gosh, look at this. You get a mug and wait, do you, does he come with it? What, is this a set? Mug with decor gnome. Okay, that's my kind of, no, I mean, I would never use the mug. Probably, or the gnome. I mean, what would I do? That's just so cute. That's a really sweet gift. You're into martinis, they have that. If you can't see, there's skulls on them. Oh, okay, here's some more Nightmare Before Christmas. There's a mug, pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, Ghostbusters. Haven't seen that in quite some time. Oh, toxic. Cause the taste of your lips, I'm on a rage. Right, eat, drink, and be scary. Oh, boo to you. See, that's a happy ghost. That's like Casper over there. Oh, here's a big one. This is like a chili mug. I like that style, I like that size. And then they have a mug that comes with a bowl for a beautiful breakfast. Jeez, Jonathan, slacking. Here's a soap dispenser. This says Hocus Pocus. What do you, what goes in there? <laughs> oh, toothbrushes and stuff. That's pretty fun. Do you decorate your bathroom? I, I mean, I'm nowhere near that level. And then they have the Nightmare Before Christmas uh, cups. I have a set of four glassware set, and then these are the large ones, and these are really nice. Oh, and then they have mugs over there too. Oh, sorry, wine glasses. And I am smelling all of these candles. I can't wait to go down the candle aisle. There's Snoopy back there. Snoopy seems to like never go away. He lingers and lingers. They have cute little bags. These are pretty sturdy bags. They're $5. Um, someone, oh, thank you, treasure hunters. Okay, that was it. She just yelled, job well done, and then ended. Anyway, um, I've always wanted to get a psychic reading. Someone talked me out of it. I'm about to buy this bag. I don't know why. It's a grocery bag. Well, for me, you can carry anything in it. Oh my gosh. Here is a Ouija board bag. Oh, this one has no, oh my gosh. I might buy that one. Talk me out of it. I don't know if you can talk me out of it. It's $5. There's more too. There's more. Okay. Well, there's that. Do I need it? No. Do I want it? Yep. Okay, here's a ton more table runners right here. These are more delicate, I feel like. Oh, like, look at that one. The sunflower. That's a thing. Okay, and then they have skeletons doing yoga on a blanket for $17. So there's that. Ooh, happy Halloween down there. And then a bunch more blankets if you want to catch the vibe on these. Oh my gosh, look at this plant stand with the sunflower on it. I even saw this pumpkin, like the white stacking pumpkins back here. It's $40. And then I saw some pillows. Not many over here. There's a pumpkin pillow. Oh, some more pumpkin pillows. There's a thankful pillow. Well, this tapestry has more to do with the moon than Halloween, but I feel like it's a theme, you know? So that's pretty cool. This grateful pillow looks really nice. And side note, I debated for, I stood there for probably 10 minutes thinking about buying this. It's really nice and it opens for storage, but I think I'm gonna pass. 
I'm very disappointed. Good thing we're about to head to Marshall's. Normally this aisle is filled with candles, completely filled. Ooh, although I do see a spiced pumpkin. Okay, cheers. It must be from last year. I can barely smell anything. Uh, oh my gosh, a modern gentleman. Okay. Oh wow, you know what? That smells really, uh, that smells really nice. I mean, I wouldn't mind smelling like this. Yeah, that smells really good. All right, salted pumpkin. Oh my gosh, more like salted popcorn. Why? Thought I would see some more fall stuff in their beauty section. Okay, I put them together. Really, this is, these are the only things that I have found. These few things, they're hand soaps. I could smell them all, but they all probably smell pretty similar. And then this is a foaming hand soap, a pumpkin medley. Other than that, uh, nothing. Okay, they have a few uh, kitchen towels up here, also with the oven mitts. Uh, so this one is similar to the apron we saw. Cute. They always have a few candles at the checkout. Uh, they have that pink apple and pear and some different ones, but nothing is really catching my eye. That caramel pecan is pretty okay. Feeling good. Hey, hey, hey. Look, it has little puff balls on it. So cute. Okay, now we're going to head to Marshall's and hopefully they have a little bit more than TJ Maxx had. Cross our fingers. Okay, pit stop. I have to run into Target really quickly and right next to Target is Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm gonna run my little nose in there and smell the candle that I've been waiting to smell for quite some time. It's called Leaves. Everyone raves about it. Let's, I bet you they have other Halloween stuff you wanna see. Let's go. Okay, everyone is so nice here and helpful. She brought me right to the Leaves candle. You guys, it's everything. Is it though? I don't know. Is it hyped up enough? I'm gonna sniff around. Um, it does smell really nice. It has like crisp red apple and golden nectar and warm clove spice. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell the apple and clove. Ooh, pumpkin clove. Ooh, actually I might like that one a little more. They've got, ooh, cranberry woods. I'm not into that one. All right, ooh, check out the Halloween table. All right, let's start sniffing. Oh, and all the candles are $16.50. This might be the first time in history when I buy a Bath & Body Works candle. Oh my gosh, this smells like pumpkin and coffee. Ooh, strawberry pound cake, yes, pumpkin carving. I actually think I might like this one the best. They have these little holders. Oh my gosh, yeah, see, I'm not at that level yet either, but. Those are really cute. And then they have little hand sanitizer holders. Oh, look, and I can treat myself to a little, oh my gosh, vamp, how do they know what vampire blood smells like? Oh my God, that's what vampire blood smells like? It smells like cherries. I mean, I'd eat it. Okay, ooh, they have bath bombs? I had no idea. Oh my gosh, look at this bust that holds a candle. Ooh, gore. Ghoul friend. Oh my, oh, okay, that's sweet. All right, they have a wicked apple. Oh, look, they even have it in the um, soap holder. Oh, okay, wicked apple. When I juice, that's what it smells like. It smells like celery, kind of. So, not my vibe, okay? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Haunted Nights. It smells like shaving cream. Oh my word, look at this wall plug. It's like a vampire dog, it's so cute. Oh, okay, yeah, so so far, I think this is my favorite pumpkin carving, but I did really like that one. I'm good, thanks. I did really like uh, the one in summertime that smelled like sunscreen, so I'm gonna look for that too. All right, I'll give you an overview of the, the fall stuff as well. These plugs are gorgeous. Aren't they darling? Oh my gosh, wait, I just saw. There's so many scents, so I'm gonna sniff around. I, you know what? I'm determined to buy one candle. Ooh, that one smells nice. Autumn Woods? That has like a fresh scent to it. I just remember going into one of my friend's houses one time and I said, what is the smell in here? It is delicious and it was leaves. So I might just buy that. I really like this holder too. Look how fun it is. Like the woodland creatures. Okay, I'm sniffing my life away here and I'm looking at everything, but look at this. It's like a spider and cobweb, that is so cute. And then I saw the pumpkin one too, thought I had to share it with you. Look at that one too, it's a soap holder and I think I, they have a candle holder that looks the same, the little bat. Okay, I'm getting some really good insight. The guy who works here is cracking me up. I guess this is trending on TikTok and if someone from Harry Potter was a candle, moth boy, man boy, I don't re even remember. But the holder is really pretty. Anyway, they're almost sold out of it because everyone's been buying it up. And then over here, this one is like a trending candle. Apparently, if 
Twilight had a smell, this would be it. And to me, it kind of smells like cucumber, but it's like dark walnut, lavender, and amber. It does smell really good. That's like my second favorite, but I think I'm gonna go home with this one. The pumpkin carving, this leaves and autumn. I would probably pick this over autumn. I mean, leaves as well. It just, it has like that fresh scent. One more thing, then we're gonna go. This one also smells really good. What is it? I already forgot. It has like a bright scent, but yeah, bright. Oh, that's why I like it. Bright citrus and cedarwood and mint. And But I wanted to show you those, the candle holders. So darling. Two things. I made my very first purchase from Bed Bath & Body Works. And I think when I grow up, I want to work there because everyone who worked there was so nice and lovely. Uh, I ended up buying two candles. You know me, I'm too fickle to pick just one. I'll share this with you eventually. But for now, let's head to Marshall's. Here we are. Wish us luck. Well, this is typically where they have the seasonal stuff, so not uh, super confident they're gonna have what we're looking for. Oh, side note, a ton of you asked me where I get my mason jars from to store like flour and sugar. I got them originally from Costco, but they do have the jars at um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls and stuff. Ooh, okay, I wasn't gonna come down this aisle. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. Hey, look at these mini whisks. Oh, also the corn stripper. We were talking about that the other day, weren't they? Weren't they? I mean, weren't we? Look, the reason I came down this aisle is because I saw this bunt cake maker. Nice bunt. I'm also easily amused. Those are really pretty spatulas as well. Okay, yeah, I don't really see anything fall. Oh, this is their candle aisle. Eh, we'll go down there in a minute, though. Oh, look, another one. They're taunting me. Kim, buy me, buy me. Okay, I do see a little bit. You know what? I think the Marshalls that is a little bit south of this one is always way better. Plus, I feel like, I don't know, maybe in a week, they're going to start putting way more stuff out. And follow me on Instagram if you want to see, like, updated versions of what they have. Because I often just stop in real quick to see. Uh, and then I share it on there. Oh my gosh, look at that one. That's cool. Oh, the big witch. See, that's what we're waiting on. Things like this. This is pretty sweet too. A little candy dish or whatever you want to put in there. Oh my word. What on earth? This is so heavy. Holy cow. It is a tray. It's a Ouija board tray. How much is this? Guess that price. Oh my God. It's $20. When I say it's heavy, I'm not kidding. Okay. Goodbye. Let me know if you played Ouija board. Okay. Oh, here are some more drink up witches. And there's that. Oh, wicked. Is that popular? Some more pumpkins. Okay, the white pumpkin says trick. I'm gonna sniff on this. Okay, yeah, after going to like that candle store, that does not compare. <laughs> All right, let's peek on these. They have some more pillows down there, the witch's sign. Oh, we haven't seen him really. He's the large one, he's $17. Too cute to spook. Oh, that's funny. I do like this ghost pillow back here. Oh, but you know what? I like this thing better. The three ghosts back there. That's a wooden sign and that's pretty cute. Um, I think this is mostly all they have so far that I've seen. If the broom fits, jump on it. See, I told you, Charlie Brown and Snoopy, they sneak into everything. Oh, okay, this is cute. Just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I haven't really seen that many Hocus Pocus things, uh, you know, compared to last year when I feel like Hocus Pocus was just running rampant. Okay, cool, cool. That's about it for this cap. All right. This is a pretty cool wreath. I feel like they had something similar in the Target dollar spot a couple of years ago. Obviously not that large. A few blankets over here. I don't think we've seen this one. Some fall blankets. Oh, I see some spider webs. Oh my gosh, look how stinking cute that is with the gnomes on the back of the truck. And you can kind of like play with their beard. It's a string beard. Oh, look at that rainbow tapestry. That's pretty cool too. All right, so we've got pumpkins, harvest, live some more kitchen towels. Ooh, even more kitchen towels. Oh my gosh, look at this kitchen towel with a little feet hanging down. That's really cute. Oh, football. We interrupt this marriage for football season. Wow, how funny is that? You know what, I almost forgot it's almost football season. Yeah, we've been watching like, what is it called, pre-game, pre-game games? I don't really know what they're called, but <laughs> we watched a few of them. Uh, maybe it's just like practice trials. I don't know what they're called. 
These seem more like blankets than dish towels. Dang. If you get cold in the kitchen, just throw that over your shoulder. All right, so they have a little aisle over here with pumpkins. Ooh, room sprays. I almost forgot about the candle aisle. I feel like my nose is just so tired. Like, give me a break, please. I've been sniffing so much. Six foot wood garland. Now that's different. That's really cute. That's $10. Okay, whatever the scent is that I smell, it smells really nice. Oh, see, autumn vibes, pumpkin season. DW has amazing candles. Oh yeah, that smells so good. How much is that? $15. Wow. And the Bath and Body Works ones were on sale for like six. Wow. Oh my God. I might buy it. It smells so good. Why am I buying so many candles? I'll never know. But um, look, it's another set. This is a cute little candle. Okay. Okay. Thankful, thankful. Gather. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, where we can always find a special surprise. Look at this little set. Now this is cute and you can keep this out all year long. I mean, do we really need to, to say these things? I don't know, I could do without the words, but it's really sweet, I like it. All right, well, that's it for this aisle. Let's see what else they have. Looks like they're fully stocked in one of my favorite scents, the Cinnamon Apple and Oats by DW. Uh, and then, Everything else is just kind of like uh, uninteresting to me. Mostly because, I don't know, where's the new stuff? You know, I guess we could just have to wait sometimes. All right, we've seen normal size candles. This is a large size candle and my favorite scent. But then down here, you guys, it's like the mega jar. It is enormous. Should I buy it? No, am I going to? <laughs> I might. Adult radio stations, 1000% the best. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed shopping with me, shopping around. And like I said, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do that and I'll like share here and there when I go to stores. It's hit or miss when you go to stores like this because you never know if they're gonna be fully stocked or what they're really going to have. So I hope you enjoyed seeing what my local stores had and hopefully your local stores are going to start to put stuff out in the coming weeks because school has started and that is like the start of fall basically right even if it is a million degrees outside but that is it thank you guys again if you want to subscribe put a little happy new year day and i'll see you next time bye